So our next unit is about landforms or what the shape of the land is like. And we have studied how we have weathering, things get broken into smaller pieces, then erosion, they get moved around, they get taken from one place and dropped another. And that's why our land has certain shapes at different places. Today's assignment is going to be an introduction to that where you are going to match the definition of a landform to what you see in the picture. And this will be graded for accuracy. It's on par with a notes check. It is a minor grade or what, what you would call a quiz grade. First of all, you're gonna be given this sheet as you, came, as you came in the classroom today. This is yours to keep. This is going to be your definitions, your vocabulary list for this unit. You will not be given a second one of these. If you lose it, you're out of luck for the test and you'll have to copy these down into your notebook in order to use them. This is what we're gonna use as a reference for this assignment. So here's what the assignment looks like. I'm gonna show you a picture and it is some shape of the land somewhere and it has multiple choice answers there. And you have to read the definition for each one of those and, and see which one matches what you see in the picture. Now, you'll notice that the, the vocabulary is broken up into sections. We've got river landforms, yeah. river landforms up here, coastal landforms, glacial, above ground, and underground. So that's a good place to start. Look at the landform. You can obviously see that this is an above ground landform. So your answer is certainly going to be in this list here. What you have to do is read the definitions, find this word, find this word, find these words on the list and see which one matches or describes what you see in the picture and choose that as your answer. So now we take a look at this picture right here. This is very obviously underground. And what you'll do is you'll try to find these terms in your vocabulary list and see which one of those matches something that you see in this picture. And there's a chance that none of those words are going to be visible in the picture. And in that case, you would choose none of these for your answer. Here, this is obviously the ocean. So we're going to look at coastal landforms. And once again, check these terms versus the list and find which one matches what you see in the picture. Finally, here we've got a bunch of snow and ice. We know those are glaciers. You're going to go to that list that has glacial landforms and try to pick the term that matches what you see or what is being pointed to in the picture. Now, the last section is river landforms because rivers change the land a lot more than other things. So river landforms are classified or grouped by themselves. Same deal. Find these terms on your vocabulary list and see which one matches what you see in the picture. So some guidelines for this, because this is a quiz grade. This can be done in pairs or alone. I prefer that you do it in pairs and you talk to each other about what you are seeing or looking at in the picture. No groups larger than two. And you're going to be separated. You are only going to be able to talk to your group. When you do this in quizzes, you need to put both people's names in the name bar before you start the quiz. Otherwise, I don't know who worked together. Once again, you may only talk with your partner. You may not talk amongst groups. No cell phone use is allowed because this is a graded assessment and you're not gonna be able to communicate with each other via text or sending pictures. All your quizzes are all different and the questions are in different order and the answers are in different order. So you don't have the time, you don't have the ability to uh, figure out who's looking at what in another group anyway. So you may not use your cell phones to look up answers or communicate with each other. Let me caution you, this time of the year, we're not gonna accept this. If you're seen on your cell phone, you're gonna be given a zero and you're gonna have to do recovery in May when you'd much rather be just chilling out and doing nothing. So put the cell phones away for a period. This must be done on your computer and not on your phones. So if two of you want to work together and neither one of you has your school laptop or a laptop, you may not work together because we're not going to do this on phones, only on a computer screen where we can see what's on the screen. Just a reminder, this is graded for 
accuracy. This counts as a grade. So be careful with this and have discussions and read things carefully. Good luck.